Good day! Welcome to yet another lesson with the Sudoku guy. Today we're going to learn how to solve three empty cells that are in a line within a block. And it's a neat system and it'll be very valuable when you go on to harder puzzles. Let's look at this puzzle. If we look at this block here, we have three cells in a line and yet the rest of that row is filled up. So we can work out very easily what those three are. And we do it this way. We go one, two is missing. So I can do this sort of thing if you wish. You can do any system that you like. And so, so we know that these three cells here have got a number. The numbers are one, it was a two, uh, three, four, we're missing a five, uh, six. We're two, five, and six. Now let's look at these, these uh, three columns down to see if how we can do this. If I take, for example, the 2, can a 2 go there? Well, we have a 5 and a 6 down here, so this becomes a 2. Now you're left with a 5, 6, a 5, 6 matching pair. Now let's look down and see what we find here. Well, there's no 5 or 6 down here. But when we look at this one, there is a 5 down here. So what that does is that it gets rid of this and we get, instead of the 5 there, we just get a straight 6, which simply means that now that 6 means that this becomes a 5. And we solve that very quickly. Now how you, a lot of people say, for example, my sweetheart, she doesn't even put any numbers outside. She just simply remembers them all. Good for the memory. Sudoku was excellent for the brain, you did you know? Okay, so we have now solved those three numbers very quickly by recognizing there were three empty cells and the rest of the row was filled up. Now here's another one over here. This block has got three empty cells. Uh, and let's work out what they are. There's a one. Uh, we don't have a two, so we'll put a two here and a two there. This is another way of doing it. You take your pick. Uh, we three. We have a three. We don't have a four. Uh, four. So we can put four in each one of those. What we have a four here, so we don't have to put a four there. And the other two, four. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the other number. Okay, so a seven can go here, and a seven can go there. We didn't solve a real big number but we have laid the foundations as you'll see later on. Okay, let's have a look at another place where there's three in, uh, within a block. Here's another one right down here. Look, we've got this block with three empty cells. We can work out what these three are. Now here's another way. Some people do this. Watch. If I take this block here and I go uh, something like this, uh, an arrow this way with a t t t t t t Use that as your clue to say that we're just looking at this block only. Okay, we're not looking at the whole line, we're just looking at this block only. So in this block we have a one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is easy. So therefore we're missing a six, seven, and eight. You can put them outside if you haven't got a good memory. Now let's take each one, a six. Is there a six up here, or a seven, or an eight? No, there isn't, so we put six, seven, eight. Have a look at this one. We have a 6, 7. Wow! That means that this has to be an 8, which means we can cross off this third number here because there's no longer, 8 is already included, and that leads to a, um, whoops, we got a 6 over here. So that can't be a 6, 7. I didn't see that, so we looked, we, that becomes a 7. Six, seven, eight. Oh, I was, I was wrong. Did you see my mistake? I'm going to do this again so you can see how easy it is to make a mistake. What numbers are missing in here? We'll, we'll try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is what's missing. Fancy not seeing that. Fine. I'm glad I picked that one up. Now let's seven, eight, nine. We've got a nine here, so this is a seven, eight. Uh, seven, here's a seven, so this becomes an eight, nine. And here's a seven here, this is also an eight, nine. Now that's important. These are matching pairs. Now when they're a matching pair, we can't have 
uh, because we've got an 8 already there for sure, we know one of those is going to be an 8, that eliminates this 8 here, and I'm going to cover more of that type of uh, technique later on. So we now have a 7 here. Okay, there's your 7. Fine, so we solve those three qu fairly, fairly quickly. Now here's one more I'm going to show you. Here is a block, and there's three empty cells here, and we can work out what's missing. A 1 is missing, so we can put them down here if you like. We'll do it this way again, this, if you like. A 1 is missing. Uh, 1, 2 is missing. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 is meaning, missing, and 9. So 1, 2, and 8 go in there. Watch how I do this. We put here, we look at this and we say, hmm, is there a 1, 2, or 8 above us here? Yes, there is. There's a 1 and a 2. So therefore, this becomes an 8. So we're now left with a 1, 2 matching pair. And once we do that, we look up to see if there's any 1s or 2s. There's no 1 or 2 in this column, but there is a 1 or 2 in this column. There's a 1. So that eliminates the 1 here that makes this a 2. And this is so neat. This system, so often, it, ha, what happens is that if you get one number, you get all three numbers. It's a fast way of getting three empty cells filled in. So that's the principle of looking for three empty cells in a block and the rest of the row or the rest of the column is full. So now, let's do the, I'll just rub this out temporarily. And uh, just because I'm just showing you can do whatever you like. You can go by memory or you can go by using these other little ideas. So now let's do the actual puzzle very quickly. It shouldn't take us long because it's an easy one. And let's go one, one. We got a one here or a one there. Two. Well, we know for a fact that a two is going to be in there. So therefore the two has to be middle, top, bottom, it has to be down in here. There's a 2 here, so we can have a, a 2 here or a 2 there. Okay, 3. The 3's are already there. 4. Now this is important. You'll notice that we have a 4. It's going to be somewhere in here. So therefore, to follow the rule of top, middle, bottom, top, middle, these have to be at the bottom, and we have a little four there, or a little four there. Look down, and whoops, we've got a four here. So that eliminates this four, and this becomes the four. Okay, moving along, uh, fives. We have a five here, and a five here. Bottom, top, there has to be a five here, or here. Let's look down to see if there's a five. There's no five down there, there's no five down there, leave it. Sixes. A six, a six, bottom top has to be down in, there it is, in the middle, already there. Uh, sevens. This is interesting. There's no room for a seven here. The only room for a seven in this whole block is in fact there. And we know that's for sure because the seven has to be in that area, top, bottom, middle. Good, eights. Um, we have two eights, top, uh, middle, has to be somewhere in here. So we've got all kinds of things in here coming up. We have an 8 there, we could have an 8 there, we could have an 8 here, and so on. Okay, now let's go on to this row, this set of blocks. 1, 2, we could have a 1 here or a 1 there. So let's put them in. 2s, no 2s. 3s, only one 3. 4, no luck. 5s, only one 5. 6, only one 6. 7, there's two 7s, a top, a middle, and we put a bottom here. Now what is that? We're now doing the ramifications. What does that do? This 7 cancels out that 7, and this becomes a 2. If that becomes a 2, this becomes a 4, 7, and this becomes a 4. If that becomes a 4, then this becomes a seven. You see how suddenly, once you get one of them, you get them all? Okay, any ramifications there? Let's have a look. Look at this seven and four. Look, let's take the four. Center, right, left, it can go up there. Let's take the 
uh, two, any twos? No, only one, two, sevens. We can put left, right, uh, center, we got all the sevens. So we're making great progress here. Um, going back to where we were here, we were doing the ones, we were doing the ones, we went through the nines, there's two nines in here, middle, bottom. One of these is a nine and it has to be there because it can't be underneath there. It's pushing on to this row now, this row of horizontal blocks. One, two, ones are done. Two, two, two. The two has to be here or here, but look up there. There's a two there, so it has to go there. Now, remember we were saying the other day in the other lesson that this eight, nine means that we can work out what that one is. Let's just do that for fun. Put things into practice here. One, two, three is missing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three is missing, so we can put the three in there. What, is there any ramifications of that three? Yes, there are. Right, center, it has to be on the left. Any ramifications of that three? Well, top, middle, has to be on the bottom, and it can't be there because of that three, so this becomes the three. Wow, that was very effective, wasn't it? Now, let any other ramifications of that three? Here we have a right, here we have a, a center, here we have a left, so that becomes a three. And we can check yourself out, bottom, top, middle, going that way. Wow, was that a lot of ramifications just because of that one move. Now let's move on to uh, fours. We've got the fours, fives. We can have a five here and here. Sixes. We've got a six here, a six here. We can't have a six there, and we can't have a six there. So that eliminates this five because the six goes there. Okay, sevens, we got all the sevens. Eights, well we know for a fact that it's an eight going to be here and an eight going to be there. If an eight is there in the middle and an eight at the bottom, one of these has to be an eight. And as to qu which one it is, we're not sure, so I'll put an eight there and an eight there for the time being. So guess what, I've just noticed, this is neat. This is block has only two left in it. We can solve those two ones that are left. It's a 5-8 matching pair. Now let's look up and down. Look, there's a 5 here. So that changes this to an 8. And this becomes a 5. You getting the technique down now? Very good. Now once we've done that, are there any other things that we can do? Well, we know that this five means, that five means that there's going to be a five in here and a five in there. That's important. Uh, and there may be some other ramifications, but let me now do um, the nines. Nine here. We know that this is going to be a nine in the middle. We've got a nine in the bottom. This one that doesn't have a nine has to be on the top, and we know that for sure because that's the only number left in that block. And now we only have one number left in this column. And let's look out and see what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe it is an eight. Okay. Now, um, let's do the vertical blocks very quickly. One. Ooh, we don't know about the ones yet. Twos. I'm not sure about the twos yet. Uh, threes. Um, threes. There's a three here, and a three here, and a three here. We got them all. Four. Wow, here we go. Look, this is a four, a left, a right. It has to be in the center because this block doesn't have a four. There's a four there and a four there. So this cancels out that one. This becomes the four and this becomes the one. That was good. Now this row here only has one left. Let's look and see what it is. One, two. It's a two that's missing. Put it in. That'll help us here because look, here we have a center. Here we have a left. This is going to be a two up in here somewhere. Okay, it has to be this one, left, center, left, right. So this becomes a two. And you can either leave all the little numbers there or you can take them off, take your pick. You've got that choice. It gets very messy later on when you do advanced puzzles, but it's up to you. This column now is getting less. That's good. Let's have a look now at the ones. Well, look, and I've just noticed because we put that two there, one, one, one. This becomes a one. Let's check ourselves out. Left, right, center. That's correct. Now we only have one left in this, 
in this row, and because we put that 2 there, that cancels out the 2, and this becomes now an 8. Let's check that out. Let's go now, we go 8, 8, 8. We've only got 2 left in here. What are the numbers that are left? I think it's a 5 and a 9. 9, 9, yes, it's 5 and a 9. There's a 9, there's a 9. Matching pairs. Is there a 5 or a 9? Oh, there's a 9 down here. Therefore, this cancels out this 9, and this becomes a 5. That becomes a 5, therefore this becomes a 9. Okay, we completed another pile. Now, this is interesting. If you look here carefully, here we have an 8, 9, but there's a 9 there, so that changes this to an 8, and the other one to a 9. There we go. Now this column has only got one left. We should be able to work out what that is. One, two, three, four. I think it's a five. Five that's missing if I count up that one. Any ramifications of that one? Yes, there are. Let's look to the right. F middle, bottom. This has to be the five up here. So that becomes the five there. Okay, and that fits because we have a left, center, right. Oh, now let's look at this column. We've only got one left in that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's our eight. Very good, and that proves to, uh, that's correct because we have a le left, a center, and a right. And we've only got one left in this block, and I believe it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can check it this way as well. Now we've only got, we're getting very close to the end here. This block has only got one left in it. One, two, it's on two that's missing. Oh, sorry, that, that block I meant, sorry, that column, that's a 2. And therefore, we're left with a 1, 2, 3, 4, we left, we've got an 8 that goes in here. And there's no other 8s in here, so we're on the right track. Center, right, left, that's good. Now this one's only got one left in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think it's a 6. 6 is missing, and this has only got one left in it, and it's a 1, 2. 2, it's a 2. And nobody thinks that we've done it, folks. Way to go! Well, good evenings.